Hi, I'm Laura Cordry and I'm the Community Developer in Ghost Recon Wildlands. We're currently in our second year of live content at Ghost Recon Wildlands and this year we're holding four special operation title updates. And each of these updates is based on a very strong central theme upon which we deliver new PvE and PvP content for our players. I'm Lucien Solbon, I'm the lead writer on Rainbow Six Siege and it's my responsibility to help develop the characters, oversee the creation of new characters, uh, the maps, the settings, uh, and basically putting everything together in a narrative structure. For Special Operation 2, we were thrilled to be able to work with the Rainbow Six Siege team as we knew that this was a theme and a crossover that our players would really enjoy. I think the really great thing about working with the Ghost Recon team was not only the respect that they showed for our operators, but just seeing you know, Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six sharing the stage. You know, two worlds just combined. It was kind of like the realization of an inner geek moment. The reason why you get into video games are for like these little moments where you can just have fun with the characters that you know, that, that you're putting so much work into. To merge two different brands into one scenario, you need to follow a specific narration process. We regularly exchange between the Paris and Montreal studios to see which operators you wanted to bring into the Wildlands and whose backstory you wanted to explore further. They kept us in the loop in terms of what they wanted to do. There was constant feedback. They were sending us their scripts, their intentions. In addition to this, sound, animation and character design teams shared assets and feedback all the time with each other. So both teams paid great attention to the sound design with Kavira's loosing gun and our PvP class surgeon's weapon. It was really cool seeing how we were able to merge our two worlds together and additionally how the Rainbow Six Siege team, they were able to develop the backstory of the operators within the Wildlands. In Rainbow Six, we don't have a lot of opportunities to explore the deep narrative of the characters and how they interact. So when Ghost Recon gave us this possibility of working with, uh, with having Kavera and Valkyrie there, uh, we sort of were able to play a lot more with who the characters were and a deeper part of their backstory. When we started discussing with the Rainbow Six team about which operator we wanted to explore, it was super easy to decide. Both teams were on the same wavelength with a massive consensus for Kivira. We already established in her backstory, she grew up on the streets, she grew up in the flavella, she had a rough childhood. We established she had a big family. So there was already room there in which Ghost Recon could step in and actually play with that. And that's why we were able to introduce a brother and somebody that was doing undercover work and somebody that Kavera would actually be willing to fight for when her bio just sort of only touches upon that. So in Ghost Recon, the reason why the Rainbow Operators are there is because Kavera has gone off the reservation. Nobody knows why. Now Valkyrie is friends with Bowman and she wants to keep this sort of in-house so she asks Bowman's help in tracking down Kavera and they lend out the use of Twitch with her drones in order to figure out what's going on. In regards to the relationship between Kavera and Valkyrie, is that just a throwaway thing? At this time where you really can't say, but just let's say that we don't like leaving any loose threads lying around. I really want to thank the Ghost Recon team and especially the Ghost Recon fans for welcoming Rainbow into their family. The enthusiasm we've seen for this has been incredible and it really makes me happy to see our characters being so loved and, and getting this kind of airtime. It's been so much fun working on this update and we hope that our players enjoy all of the new content of Special Operation 2.